Hey guys, got another product review for you today. And today we're going to be looking at the Cree $5, $6 headlamp that I bought off of Meritline. This was on Slick Deals maybe like two weeks ago. Went ahead and ordered it, thought I could probably use it for, you know, bicycling, working on cars and computers, having that light where I want it and not having to use my cell phone or my Galaxy Nexus as the flashlight. And this is what you get. It's, uh, I think it was five dollars free shipping from China. It took two weeks, but this is it. And it has a telescoping um, beam or a lens that you can use to focus into like a really tight, tight beam, which is really cool. It's actually really impressive. I'll show you uh, a demonstration of it. But this is what you get. It's powered by three triple A's. You squeeze the sides and you can pull it off, pull it apart, and it actually has a, uh, I thought it did have a seal, but I guess not, but as you can see, it takes three AAAs. I'm using Panasonic Enna Loops, which are rechargeable uh, batteries, and um, it has two halves, pretty much, elastic band that's adjustable. It has these sliding um, adjustments, like any fabric, strap wood. So this is pretty much it. It uses a single LED inside and it's a Cree branded LED and this honestly is one of the brightest LEDs I've ever seen in terms of a single LED. Now I have a bunch of different a um, bunch of different headlights or LED lights per se. I have this this light from CatEye. This is the EL530 and back in the day it was a pretty good pretty good headlight I mean it still works it's got a nice little magnetic switch it's very smooth and and uh, it works well however oh it's actually it's like spots that are burned in the um, reflective bowl has spots in it but this was $70 and this $5 Cree LED beats the crap out of it. And not only because it's focusable, but the Cree, single Cree LED in here lasts or is significantly brighter than this cat eye, $70 cat eye. Now the cat eye will probably last longer in terms of runtime because it's a four AA um, bulb or a headlight. But you know, it has its limitations. The beam is very pointed. It's actually not very wide. The main, most of the light is focused in the middle. And to be honest, it's actually not really useful at all. And it only has, it, only, it doesn't have flash mode either. It's just on and off. And the beam is very narrow and it can't be adjusted. And one thing due to its age, I realized that there's actually stress cracks. A stress crack developing right here because there is a gasket that pushes down, so it, there's like a compression fit. And over time, a crack developed here due to the clamping pressure, I guess, with that gasket in there. So yeah, um, probably gonna retire this, and I'll wear this under my helmet. It works really well, actually. Uh, I went out to get groceries just, just now, and I focused the beam like super tight, and I was seeing if I could Pester like people in neighboring buildings and and oncoming drivers <laughs> see if they realize just how bright this thing is because it's really bright it's bright enough where you focus it and you see that beam in the air like through I guess like the 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 fog this is enough to like make like a, a stream of light through that so it's actually really powerful and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now all right so what we're gonna do I'm gonna use the cat eye first. And I'll show you the beam pattern and pretty much how bright it is according to this camera. Now this camera is set to manual mode, so the exposure is not going to be changing as uh, I turn, I test these lights. So here we go. So that's the cat eye, and you know it's it's got like an aura around it. As you can see, is like a a little bit of light cast off of the away from the, the center beam, but most of the light is actually in this one beam. Alright, 
So that is the Cat Eye EL530 that cost me 70 bucks like three years ago. All right, and I'm gonna put some batteries in the Cree headlight and I'll get back. All right, so just now that I have batteries in the Cree, here's the EL530 again. No, it's all right. It's not bad. It's it's certainly has its uses. I use it before I got my Cree headlight as a uh, you know, just a normal flashlight. It's really bright for that. All right. Now, not changing any of the exposure settings on my camera. This is the other one, the uh, Cree LED headlight. As you can tell, it's actually this is the widest setting, and it's fairly bright. You can see my unkempt bed, but this is the LED, uh, the cat eye, the little spot that I'm wiggling. That's the other, that's the cat eye. And this bigger circle is the Cree headlight. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold both of these truck and then focus the Cree. As you can see, it's getting really pretty tight. And bam. So actually, it has, you notice it has a, its own little shape. It's like a square beam. That's actually the, the profile of the LED. If you look at it with the headlamp off, the LED is actually square. In profile. As you can tell, this is significantly brighter and nothing on the camera has changed. The exposure is completely, the exposure is the same and you can tell the Cree like totally overpowers the, um, the cat eye right here. So I definitely recommend if they can put these into bike lamps, oh my gosh, you have a couple like $15 worth three headlights of these that would be an ama like a fairly bright setup in, in terms of night riding. All right, so it also has a night mode. It looks like this is probably PWM modulated. That's why you see it getting picked up as a flickering, but it doesn't flicker, it's just dimmed. And then there's a flashing strobe light. So there's three modes. So sorry if you just got seizures there, but um, cat eye, Cree LED bulb, cat eye, Cree LED. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a significant difference. So anybody looking for, to get the Cree LED? Uh, I would highly recommend it. It's cheap. Um, it does get a little warm, but that's why this this telescoping mechanism is metal. It's probably uh, doubles as a heat sink, but significantly brighter. I mean, this is amazing. I was blown away. It's like probably the best five dollars I've ever spent. All right. So this is Ezra with another product review. Highly recommend the Cree headlamp. Alright, thanks for watching.